Philosophy of science is the philosophical discipline dealing with the assumptions, methodology, and implications of science. Here are some common myths about science. Science are unbiased observers. They use the scientific method to confirm or falsify their theories. They have no preconceptions in collecting data and deriving theories. And science is self-correcting since scientists readily abandon theories when they don't fit the facts. The problem is that this view of science is wrong. Busting the myth. Data by itself cannot confirm or falsify theories. This is because data is somewhat subjective in practice because it is not self-interpreting. It needs to be interpreted through a theoretical system. The scientific method is actually a generalization of how science is supposed to work. It is not a fixed rule. Scientists have shown tremendous loyalty to their theories. The steady state cosmology is a classic example. Some of its original adherents are still holding out. Furthermore, their theories are always influenced by philosophical assumptions. Science always requires making starting assumptions. This is necessary for it to work because our knowledge is incomplete. So this is contrary to the myth of scientists having no preconceptions. The fact is that the results of scientific inquiry are greatly influenced by starting assumptions. And having wrong starting assumptions results in wrong theories. In fact, here are some of the basic assumptions of science. That the universe can be understood, that it is governed by certain rules, referred to as the laws of nature, and that these laws apply everywhere in the universe. Now while these are normally taken for granted, they are still assumptions. The big question of philosophy of science is, what is science? This is not as easy a question to answer as it may seem. This is because science does not fit easily into a box. It is simply impossible to draw a clear line between science and non-science because there is too much overlap between them. However, there are accepted key concepts of science. They are observation, falsification, and repeatability. Unfortunately, even these are not absolute. This is because not everything fits into them. Not everything in the universe can be seen, such as atoms and other subatomic particles, black holes, and dark matter. Not everything can be tested, such as an unbounded universe or the cosmological principle. And not everything can be repeated, such as the origin of life and the origin of the universe itself. So as a result, the question of what is science remains an open question.